So, I can't get you out of that job thing, huh? Well, that's just for some people. But anyway, here are the top 10 careers with the highest paying jobs. Engage. Abroad. Number 10, Court Reporter. It may not be exciting or dazzling, but providing you can transcribe 250 words a minute and have an impeccable attention to detail, there may be a courtroom willing to give you a job and pay well for your services. If you take a few classes in transcription and pass a background check, you probably have a pretty good chance of becoming a court reporter. Depending on the city residence, court reporters can earn between $30,000 and over $150,000. That's not bad at all. Number 9. Power Plant Operator The average annual wage according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics for a power plant operator is $71,690. They have to coordinate, regulate, or distribute electricity or steam, and a degree isn't required as long as you have a high school diploma or the equivalent. Long-term on-the-job training is required with the projected job openings through 2020 to being 3600 Number 8. Commercial Pilots Pilots have several options. You can work for a commercial airline, you can work for a cargo airline, or you can just work for a corporation. The average annual salary for a pilot is between $73,000 and $110,000. But experienced pilots tend to make twice that amount. Salaries vary based on ratings, experience, and type of license such as sports pilot license versus commercial or airline transport. The projected job openings through 2022 are 14,400. There's going to be a lot of new pilots in the world. Number seven, detectives and investigators. With an average annual wages of $75,000, you can work like an agent on CSI and make it into a sustainable job. You just need a high school diploma or equivalent with the job requirement to conduct investigations related to suspected violations of federal, state, or local laws. Also to prevent unsolved crimes. I mean, how hard could it be? It's just being a detective. And there's going to be 27,000 new detective jobs probably coming up between now and 2020. Number 6. Nuclear Power Reactor Operator Nuclear power reactor operators require a high school diploma or equivalent to generate around $75,000 a year. You'll be moving control rods, starting and stopping equipment, monitoring things, adjusting controls, and recording data in logs. The job naturally does pose a huge risk if you mess something up, but hey, you don't need a degree. This episode of Passport Kings is brought to you by the most exciting opportunity that is currently taking the world by storm. The combination of planet marketing and IntelliTravel gives you the ability to make money in your very own travel business. Become an independent travel agent. Making big money in this $8 trillion business is easy once you learn the basics, travel at deep discounts, and become an expert of exotic locations. Check out more information at www.passportkings.com slash become travel agent and start down the road of living your exotic travel dream while making the money that it takes to do it. Number five, elevator installers and repairers. This is a bit surprising, but according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, you can now make around $76,000 a year just installing elevators or fixing them, maintaining them. I mean, sort of surprising, but considering how many elevators I've seen that were broken over the years, yeah, there's definitely a lot of money to be made in repairs. Number four, radiation therapist. You amazingly don't need a degree to become a radiation therapist. You must have a two-year associate's degree or certificate in radiation therapy, but they don't need a standard three or four-year college degree, which is kind of mad, actually, because it's basically firing huge amounts of x-ray radiation at people. The job requires you to use radiation to target cancer cells in patients, observe patients' reaction to treatment, and document the session. They are paid in accordance with the importance and detail-oriented nature of their work. Radiation therapists can earn as much as $115,000 a year, with the average being $77,000. Obviously though, it is quite a demanding and stressful job. Number 3. Construction Manager 
If you have worked in construction for a few years, you may be ready to step up to the role of construction manager. Managers need to be on call most of the time in case of emergencies or delays, but again, you don't need a degree apparently. Construction companies frequently promote from within, seen as managers are required to have a strong knowledge of the company's core values and policies. Salaries range between $40,000 up to $130,000. So you don't need a degree, but you need to be really good. Number two, distribution managers. With a huge projected job opening figure through 2020 of 30,000 new jobs, the average wage for transportation storage and distribution managers is $80,000. You just need a high school diploma and the job entails planning, directing, and coordinating distribution activities in accordance with organizational or policies and applicable government laws or regulations. Number one, air traffic controller. Air traffic controllers have to take multiple tests, participate in pre-employment medical screenings, submit to background examinations, and take classes. Where you only need an associate's degree, not a bachelor's degree. The job requires you to monitor and direct the movement of aircraft. How difficult could that be? The median annual wage of an air traffic controller, the highest of any occupation which workers do not typically need a bachelor's degree. With an average take home of $120,000 per year, they could eventually command large salaries up to 160,000 bucks. But the job itself is stressful, however, as air traffic controllers are responsible for maintaining the safety of thousands of people every day. So as you may know, I'm not really into the job thing unless you or your family created that job. But some, it's the glue that holds their lives together. And I say, if you're going to do it that way, get paid as much money as possible while you're working for somebody else. Do it big, like a king. A passport king. Peace. like this episode? Great! Remember to leave comments below, subscribe and like and share it with your social media. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to make money online or just book a trip, go to www.passportkings.com and pick up our free book while you're there.